But Daniel, there have been smoother Fridays in the history of Formula One, brace of red flags in that session. But nonetheless, are you still happy with your lot? Feel you've learned a bit from the new upgrade? I think it was a it was a solid day. I think this well this evening was definitely harder to read. It, it kind of I don't think anyone got their perfect program in, so we were definitely a bit compromised. But I'm sure others were. But obviously, looking at us, I think yeah, we can definitely find a bit more for tomorrow. So I'm not too concerned with the twelfth or I think we were twelfth maybe in that session. Um, out the box, we were second on the medium. Like we looked like we were decent. I'm not saying we'll be second tomorrow, but uh, I think we definitely should be a, a top ten car getting it right and. Um, yeah, just uh, just going through. Obviously, it was a big one for Carlos. It was a strange one, um, but yeah, happy that happy that he's all right. But it, he didn't get much warning. So uh, yeah, that was uh, that was that. Then Hulk did his little bit. Everyone was a bit on the back foot, but it was all right. We'll uh, we'll find a bit more pace tomorrow. With the limited running, did you feel you managed to get a sense of what this new upgrade is going to bring to the car and the direction it might give you for 24? I think it was definitely some positives felt in it. Uh, you know, this morning was a, a really solid, well, this afternoon, P1. P1 was a solid session. I think immediately we felt some of the some of the benefits from it. So um, I think now it's just, you know, we made some changes for P2, just trying to, like, you know, exploit it and, and get, get the best kind of all-around package from it. Um, yeah, maybe like overdid it in some areas, so we'll come back a little bit tonight and uh, keep trying to fine tune it. But uh, all in all, I would say uh, a decent day.